the best newfound freedom is, and everyone will say the same thing, they're officially legal, to drive that is. And in their minds, of perfect age, to drink something a little bit stronger than cordial. At our age, we are caught in the middle of our youthful innocence and the scary world that lies beyond the borders of our school and our family, with lingering expectations to find our place, not only within what has become a solidified community here at school, but rather the ever-growing world of economics, politics and design, girls find themselves experimenting and expanding their horizons by unleashing their most basic human instincts, satisfaction and exploration. Some girls choose to satisfy their social appetites, diving into the world of partying and self-expression, whilst others explore boundless possibilities to act beyond their years and to stimulate their minds creatively and academically. We are fooling ourselves if we don't acknowledge that every generation goes through this period in life. When we get old, we don't want to have regrets and feel the need to break free from commitments that apparently tie us down. A perfect example of this is the film Hall Pass. For those of you who are unfamiliar, a group of men put their marriages on hold to experience what they're missing in the pink singles party scene because they regretted not having taken full advantage of their days as studs. In reality, it would be bordering on pathetic if we were to end up with this kind of attitude. In saying this, there are many ways to explore life beyond childhood and expand our horizons, opportunities that will leave us with a greater insight into the part that we will play in our world's future. I have had personal experience in expanding my horizons. At the beginning of the year, I took on extra studies and completed a subject called Contemporary Issues in Law and Society at Bond University. This involved studying a wide spectrum of topics, including politics, abortion, euthanasia, stem cell research, and capital punishment. All topics many people believe are beyond my years of experience and knowledge. In my tutorial alone, there was a capitalist, a Muslim, an Asian, a European, and a few other interesting individuals all ranging from 15 to 55 years of age. So there was bound to be a great deal of difference in opinion, and this was explored throughout our 12 weeks. At university, everyone is given a level playing field, meaning we all have the ability to share and manipulate many unique ideas. I formed independent opinions about topics that girls my age don't usually consider, developed critical thinking skills, and learnt to effectively analyse information put forth in lectures and tutes, as well as improving public speaking skills, as I learnt to speak freely in front of a diverse group of people. There are boundless opportunities out there within the grasp of young girls. It's just a matter of having the motivation and initiative to commit to these. Whilst partying may be fun and fulfilling, the abilities to converse and analyse at a university level can provide enlightenment and pave the way for a more successful and fulfilling future, personally and professionally. So don't limit yourself. Experience the world outside of your comfort zone and take advantage of ideas and opportunities waiting out there for you because you never know where they may lead you. Thank you.